Cardiac electrophysiology is the field which deals cardiac rhythm disturbances. Many of you are aware that heart means heart attack which needs to be evaluated with angiogram, angioplasty and bypass surgery. But many of you are not aware that heart also has an electrical system which maintains the heart rate which we monitor like a pulse rate. We also always create awareness the public by telling them know your pulse. One should know how many times your heart is beating by monitoring your pulse rate. There are many rhythm disturbances which manifest like a pulse disorders. Somebody can have very fast heartbeat without any necessity or someone can have very low heartbeat that is less than 50 beats per minute below their requirement. Both can create troubles to the patient. For example, we talk about slow heartbeat. Normally heart has one heartbeat will be more than 50 beats per minute, 50 to 100 is a normal range. When somebody's heartbeat is below that, they can come, out, come to us with the fatigue, tiredness, giddiness, loss of consciousness or not able to do the routine activities, breathlessness. These are the symptoms they face when the heartbeat is adequately not working per minute. So the reasons might vary. For it can happen to the born ch child even before birth also we can detect it when the fetus stage, the electrical system of the uh, human heart is not developed properly so that as soon as the baby is born we take care of their heartbeat. But more commonly noticed in elderly people after the 50-60 years of age especially when they have hypertension, diabetes, other cardiac illnesses, their electrical system also during age, because of the aging process getting wear and tear process, it getting slows down and create disturbances like sudden loss of consciousness and breathlessness. The treatment for symptomatic slow heartbeat is only permanent pacemaker implantation. Unfortunately, this slow, slow heartbeat cannot be cured with medications. Once own electrical system is not working, you have to stimulate the heart with artificial electrical system which is called permanent pacemaker implantation which is usually done in the collarbone region in the left side of the chest below the collarbone. It's a local anesthesia procedure, it's a daycare procedure. So once you implant the pacemaker, it maintains the heart rate to the desired rate which we can set it. What is the newer advantage in the pacemaker is traditionally we have been doing pacemaker for many many decades. But of late we have noticed that traditional pacemakers can deteriorate the cardiac function over the long term. Somebody lives only on the permanent pacemaker, their heart function can deteriorate in long term. So nowadays, a like couple of years, we have changed to the newer technology called conduction system pacing, where we put the pacemaker instead of, tradition, instead of traditional location, we will put it in the natural electrical system so that the artificial electricity can be passed to the natural electrical wires. So when its uh, heart is activated through the natural electrical wires, so it doesn't create any trouble to the in long term so that that pumping function is preserved. They don't feel like their heart is artificially stimulated. That's a newer advantage in permanent pacemaker implantation, which we are specialist. One of the few centers in the country which specializes on doing these procedures.